We're a little under a month away until the beginning of the Division I college basketball season with November 25th serving as the first day for games. We caught up with the Montana men's and women's basketball teams to get a look at their season outlooks and how they're preparing for what could be a season of uncertainty with plenty hanging in the air. As college basketball prepares to get underway, new faces are the story for both of UM's men's and women's basketball teams. Mike Petrino leads the Lady Grizz in his first season at the helm, and after losing stars to graduation and a pair of transfers, the Lady Grizz welcome a squad with a Montana-heavy freshman class and three new transfers as well. In a world of chaos, as we know with COVID, it's been uh, therapeutic to be in the gym and working, so uh, that's been a good part. We've been together for a few practices now, it's that, that part we're getting used to each other, so it's, the products have been fun and energetic. We're trying to make them that way. It's a tough time for everybody, tough time for our kids, but uh, I feel like they're bringing good energy and, and working hard, and we're looking forward to We learn more every day about ourselves, so that's good. Sophia Stiles, Maddie Schoening, and Abby Anderson are the core returners for the Lady Grizz, with other rotation players like Jordan Schwein, Kylie Froelich, and Carmen G. Feller back as well. Cohesion is a big focal point with this many new players, but the Lady Grizz feel confident that their off-the-court relationships are helping on it. I think that we've really developed a really good chemistry off the court, which has definitely helped translate on. Um, all of the new girls are very excited to be here and super coachable, high energy, and it's, I feel like we've meshed really well. I think uh, especially us three have really taken on uh, communicating with the girls, speaking Mike's language sometimes. We've been around for like four years now, so we can speak a little bit better, but um, yeah, they ask a lot of questions. The girls are super coachable and not afraid to ask questions to us, so it's been a really easy way to be a leader for sure. With the men, it's a similar story. Mac Anderson and Eddie Egan return as Montana's longest tenured rotation players, while sophomores Kyle Owens, Derek Carter-Hollinger, and Josh Vazquez all return after earning heavy minutes as freshmen. Another key piece is Michael Stedman, a transfer from San Jose State who spent last year redshirting with Montana learning the team's systems. The six foot ten Stedman has a lot of hype around him and he's ready to get rolling. I plan to dominate. I mean, that's what I came here to do. Um, I want to win games at the same time. I want to get to tournament. That's been a lifelong goal of mine. To be on a, like a winning traditional team and being a focal point in that offense, um, it's pretty exciting. So I think it's a good collective group and I think we're going to be pretty good this year. Montana also welcomes another highly touted freshman class, as well as Division I transfers in Cam Parker, Darius Henderson, and Cameron Satterwhite from Northern Arizona to round out the group. Like the Lady Grizz, getting this group of younger players and those new to the program to mesh quickly with each other is paramount early on. The men never took the court in Boise in March, and knowing what that felt like having their season end prematurely, they're excited to get back on the court and have a season at all. Well, it was really exciting. I mean, everyone was asking me all throughout the summer and this fall, just like, are you guys going to play and stuff? But And it's good to actually have that for sure, yes. And we got games on the schedule, the conference schedule's out, so it's definitely good to have everything kind of set. So for the Montana Grizzlies and Lady Grizz, there is still plenty to work on leading up to that November 25th date. But as these athletes learn back in March, things are up in the air and at any moment could ultimately change. In Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.